babe, I'd wrap it gore heads. Rebecca is surprisingly focused, since she doesn't plan on eating any of these. My mom's candy that says the covered are, are all for experiments. This four-year-old is a lab assistant. After I finish this one, I think I'm going to be done. Finding new ways to enjoy candy by destroying it. It all began with her big sister, Catherine. I had some nerds and I asked mom, what would happen if I put these nerds in water? She was willing to destroy all of her Halloween candy. So then I was all for it. We covered the table with bowls of water and we just started throwing candy in to see what happened. I started seeing ways we could teach real science with these experiments. Laura Lee Levitt was hooked and soon all three of her kids were joining in. They've learned the M's in M&M's float. You should be able to see a few M's on the very surface of the water. Baking soda makes warheads loud. And carbonated water makes candy hearts dance. Laura Lee consulted scientists about the family's discoveries and published them in a book called Candy Experiments. So this is another way that you can use it without having to just throw it away or you know, buy it back from your kids or things like that. You, you, you get to use it and have fun with it. Her ideas are taking off, used by everyone from homeschoolers to museum curators and parents of diabetics. We were invited to show our experiments at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. We were swarmed with kids. Their eyes just go wide. It was really cool. Laura Lee's kids still think it's cool too. Mom, do we have that strainer? A new way to satisfy a sweet tooth through science. And I just hope that we can get them to think about candy in other ways.